There are times in an artist's life when a feeling of stagnation and boredom sets in. This could be because of repetitive use of the same theme, the same medium or even the same spectrum of colours. That's when an artist craves for a change, for something that would bring in an element of freshness to his paintings, but without compromising on his unique style. In today's video, I would be reviewing one such product that will help you see your painting in a completely new light. Literally. Today I would be reviewing Nevskaya Palatra's Decola Fluorescent Acrylic Colours. Now Nevskaya Palatra is one of the oldest and the most famous art manufacturers in Russia and it's known for their high pigment quality and fantastic range of colours. Decola is one of their flagship brands and this range offers an assortment of products that primarily focuses on decorations, hobbies and other creative pursuits. The Decola range offers the flexibility of being used on non-traditional surfaces like fabric, silk, glass, ceramic, stained glass and may even be effectively used for decoupage, gold plating and crazing. The palette is available in plethora of hues including glazed, matte finish, pearlescent, metallic, fluorescent and interference paints. The materials are easy to use and blends beautifully with one another. The Decola fluorescent acrylic colours that I would be reviewing today contain six shades. Now these paints are made on the basis of water acrylic dispersion and can be used either alone or mixed with other pearl based acrylic colours. Now what makes these paints unique is its special ability to shine under ultraviolet light. The paints come sealed in these labelled plastic bottles, each containing 20 ml of paints. These paints are pitched as being light resistant, weatherproof, fast drying and having the ability to be held firmly on any surface. Like all acrylic paints, these colours too would not wash away once dry. Let's check out the shades in the box. For the shades test, I have taken 190 GSM acrylic paper. Let's begin. This is my impression after doing the shades test on the acrylic sheet. The colours are bright and vibrant and the palette range is great. The paints are smooth to apply and quick to dry. The thickness of the paint is consistent with acrylic paints and therefore these may be used to give a nice textured effect. Now I also did a shades test on a 300 GSM black paper and this is what I see. On the black sheet, the paints appear to be comparatively duller and translucent. But let's remember, these are not regular acrylic colours, but fluorescent paints. These come with a special ability to shine in darkness under ultraviolet light. So let's proceed to check them out in this light. Here you can see how beautifully the paints are shining on both the sheets. However, when you look closely, you will notice that the white and the blue paints are reflecting way better on the black surface as compared to the white. On the hind side, the colours are still looking translucent on the black surface. We have observed that the fluorescent paint looks more appealing on the black sheet, so for my demonstration, this is the sheet I would prefer to use. But I don't want my colours to look flat and dull like this. So what I've decided to do is first to lay out an initial layer of a regular acrylic paint, which will give a nice opaque base. Once that's dry, I will start working on the painting with the fluorescent paint. Now many of you may wonder why I decided against mixing the fluorescent paint with a regular acrylic colour. This is because both the paints will cancel out each other's unique property and the paintings will look dull not only in natural light but also under UV light. This is an example of a painting where Decola paints have been mixed with regular acrylic colour. And this is a painting where first a base coat of acrylic paint was given and then the fluorescent paints were laid on top. This sample painting clearly has a bright, fresh look to it. Let me show you both the paintings in UV light as well. You can see that even in the UV light, this painting is looking way more stunning. Now let's do a demo video to see how this effect is created.
Honestly, working with Decola Fluorescent Paint was a great experience. It was like breaking a mindset. Till now, when I used to work on a painting, I used to wonder how it's going to look under natural light. But here I was working with these new set of paints and wondering how it's going to look in natural light as well as ultraviolet light. I think the Decola Fluorescent Paints can take your creativity to an entirely new level. This demonstration is just one example of how you can use these paints, but the fact that these can be used on non-traditional surfaces opens up a plethora of creative and innovative ideas. I would recommend that you take up this challenge and use these paints in your very next project. I'm pretty certain you'll not be disappointed. I really hope you found this video informative. If you enjoyed this video, do click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to watch a new art supply review every Wednesday.